How's everybody doing this morning? It's a gloriously beautiful Sunday here in Malibu where we we really virtually don't know what the, the weather is or really what time of year it is because it's just always really kind of nice. I do have my jacket on so that tells me that I'm in a month that isn't necessarily summer. And I'm also driving the 2018 Hyundai Santa Fe. It's an SUV. It's nice and cushy, really well designed. And I'm taking it this morning out to my buddy Michael's who is out in uh, Agora area. Um, you know Michael, he's got the car collection. I'm gonna be jumping in his McLaren. Sorry, I gotta keep my eyes on the road because there's a couple of scary parts to the canyon here. We're heading over into Hollywood to Sunset GT, Sunset Gran Turismo. Now, if you watched a past vlog, uh, we did go to the show before. We saw all kinds of Ferraris, Lambos, and things like that, but we spotted one Bugatti, which was really cool. I expect to see something uh, very nice this weekend. And since I'm here to show you guys how to do what you love, sometimes it means getting up way early and getting to a car show. That's commitment for you, baby. I just checked the outside temperature. It's freaking 35 degrees. What the hell is that? happened to spot Michael at a gas station on the way over and now I'm following him over to his garage we'll dump this car uh, well not, you know we'll set this car aside jump in the McLaren head to the show to Sunset GT, Sunset Gran Turismo. Uh, if you have been to this show, you may have noticed on their website that it's now by invitation only, which is nice. Yes. Um, there won't be some uh, crazy people there other than us, <laughs> uh, which I, I guess you could say we're slightly crazy. But there was there were some people there last time that were that were very distracting. Very distracting. Yeah. Doing yeah. donuts in the streets. <laughs> Disruptive was the word that they used. So. Uh, it should be an interesting show and, and hopefully some uh, some nice, interesting vehicles. We'll see how it goes. But what are we driving today? We're driving the McLaren MP4 trial C, uh, 2014 model, uh, in Volcano Orange, I will. Yeah. What's the horsepower in this? Oh, 616 brake horsepower. Not bad. We'll get there pretty quick. Yeah. are now available. What's up? Wait, you're in the dark. Rotate, rotate. There we go. Okay. Um, all right, we got our cookies. Hanging out with the formula. What? What's uh, something you want to see today? Uh, Vision GT. Uh, Bugatti Chiron. So the cheap cars. Yeah. Yeah. And do you think they'll give you a ride if you ask them? Doubt it. <laughs> are you going to try at least? Oh, yeah. 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 You, you got to try. I mean, they say no and it's gone to the next one. But at least we got our cookies. Okay, and Pop's here too, in the dark.
kind of ignored. And we are at Sunset GT, otherwise known as Sunset Gran Turismo. It's kind of a new evolution. Mm -hmm. Because last month we had some interesting challenges. To say the least. But this month, this really, uh, I think it's going to be very cool. Uh, should expect a lot of neat cars. Yeah, we should have a, a good turnout and um, hopefully uh, keep it a little bit more manageable. Obviously, uh, we've become a bit of a victim of our own success over here. Yeah. But we're expecting a good turnout with some great cars. and uh, Not a bad thing. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah. Uh, McLaren specifically here, we are, uh, we're doing a rally out to uh, Malibu with some owners um, sure. after the event. So we'll have about uh, We may end up joining so, him for that. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Fantastic. So, um, but you also have a new dealership or a, you're, you're switching from where you are located now to Correct. a new location. Tell me about that. So, uh, um, O'Gara just took over McLaren Beverly Hills. We're still at the 9022 Wilshire location. We will be moving into our uh, Olympic Boulevard location with Rolls Royce and Bugatti, which is 8083 Olympic, and that'll be happening uh, later in the spring. Fantastic. So when you guys get that all dialed in, we'll come and visit, check out some of the rides. Fantastic. I appreciate your you. time, Chris. Awesome. awesome. Thanks a Thank lot. Thank you. Take care. this particular show is that there was a lot of crazy people last month um, that were abusing the show and there's cars that are pulling up now that are not necessarily they haven't uh, done the VIP check-in because you have to sign up for the show and one of those is this cop this classic cop car didn't sign up and he, he's trying to sneak in the show and the cops are telling him he's got to go and that's what happens <laughs> away cars that are coming in looking like that looking like this those are all cars that won't be in the show this month you gotta remember to sign up is definitely different here a lot less people but the cars are just as spectacular as they were last month but without all the insanity so they've done a really great job at keeping the standard
Tony and Carmen, uh, we're walking around and there's there's all kinds of supercars and hypercars. Yeah. But uh, actually there's one car that wasn't allowed in the show. I had to park way over here. Yep. Uh, it's probably the best best car in the show. It think so. sure is. You guys want to see it? You know, going to these car shows is always fascinating because you meet all kinds of really unique and interesting people. And through that process, you learn a lot about people. You learn a lot about uh, uh, the different types of people that are attracted to situations like this. Because we talked earlier in the vlog about that there's five or six different kinds of car people. An event like this is a very specific kind. You know, it's the car collector and, and that kind of higher end enthusiast based. Uh, most of these guys are not builders, they're not designers. You're not going to see these guys driving hot rods and things like that. But there is a misnomer that is that is hidden uh, within a show like that. Most of the young guys that go to shows like this, they they have in their minds, they see these cars and they think, wow, if I, if I, could, if I could just get a car like that or have a life like that, then everything would just be awesome, you know? I mean, life would be fulfilled and I'd be wealthy and everything would be cool. But when you spend some time at shows like this and you you learn to listen. It is revealed to you that, um, you know, although a lot of these guys have maybe a tremendous amount of money and, and uh, big businesses and a lot of cars and a lot of things like that, they aren't necessarily uh, as happy as you might think. They have challenges like everybody else and they have uh, certain things that are going on in their lives that have nothing to do with money like uh, divorces or, or kids that uh, are going crazy or a variety of things. You know, things that, um, well, you know, the bottom line is that, that, that people at, that are really young think that a lot of money is, is the solution to happiness. And through a process of evolution for yourself, you've learned that, uh, that money is good. It's, uh, it can do a lot of great things and it can, it can uh, certainly lead to a lot of wonderful stuff. But money in itself is not going to create happiness for you. Happiness doesn't come that way. Happiness only comes one way. Just one way. Happiness comes when you just decide to be happy. Right now, in this moment, you just decide to be happy. Instead of deciding to put your mind on something else that doesn't make you happy, it kind of doesn't make sense that you would want to do that anyway, right? You, do, you don't want to think about crap. You don't want to think, think about things that bum you out. And some people say, well, how can I not think about that when that's happening? Well, easy. Don't think about it. Think about something else. Think about something that, that you enjoy. Now, I will say for these guys that are at this show is that what brings them joy is driving these incredible cars. Of course, that would make me happy. I'm sure that would make you happy. As you, you make your way uh, through this wave of life that we're all swimming in, you have to come to the realization that, that happiness doesn't come from anything outside of you. It comes, it's an, it's an internal thing. You have to decide to be happy. You have to decide that everything is okay. You have to have faith and believe that what you're working towards is, is good now. I want you guys to understand that if you if you are working really hard towards something and you are putting your happiness on the fact that you if you just had more money or if you just had a bigger house if you if your ex-wife would just leave you alone but I hate to tell you this but happiness doesn't come that way if you want more happiness in your life you if you want more joy in your life you want more peace in your life the only way the single only way to be able to achieve that is to decide to have that now decide to be happy now decide to be peaceful now 
Decide to have joy in your life now. Decide to be free. Truly, in your heart, decide to be free because that's what all of this stuff leads to. It leads to peace of mind. And when you have peace of mind, you have freedom. It's automatic. So decide to be free, my friends. Decide to be free in this moment. Decide tomorrow that it's gonna be the freest day of your life. Focus on what you love, do what you love, and those things that you want, instead of chasing after them, they will find you. And then you will find yourself watching the vlog tomorrow.